Saint of the Day, Saint Pope Gregory the Third. He was just standing there, not doing anything special. As a Syrian priest, he must have felt a little out of place among the Roman people, mourning that day for the dead pope. As a good preacher, as a good preacher, he must have wanted to speak to the funeral procession about Christ's promise of resurrection. As a learned man, he must have wondered who would follow the holy Saint Gregory II as pope, and where he would take the church. As a holy man, he must have been praying for Gregory II and for all the people around him to find their place after death in God's arm. But he was just one of the crowd. Not to God and not to the people who recognize the well-known holy man in their midst. Right in the middle of the funeral procession, they singled him out. They swept him away and clamored for him to be named the next bishop of Rome. Then suddenly, unexpectedly, without his even lifting a finger, his whole life changed and he could no longer just there, stand there and do nothing. After he was proclaimed Pope Gregory III, Emperor Leo III attacked the veneration of holy images. Because Leo III thought the honor to pay to Jesus, Mary and the saints by keeping statues and icons was idolatry, he condemned them and wanted them destroyed. Gregory III didn't just stand there but immediately sent a letter to Leo III. He couldn't get the letter through because the priest messenger was afraid to deliver it. So instead Gregory called a sinner that approved strong measures against anyone who tried to destroy images of Jesus, Mary or the saints. Gregory took a stand and Leo III apparently thought the only way to move him was through physical force. So Leo sent ships to kidnap Gregory and bring him to Constantinople. Many people in Rome must have tried to get Gregory to move, but he just stood there and at once God intervened. A storm destroyed Leo's ship. The only thing Leo could do was capture some of the papal lands.